we're going to get started working on the scale, put decimal numbers in order with numbers up to 5. We want to order the numbers that we see here from least to greatest. Least means the smallest number, and greatest means the biggest number or the largest number. So when we're ordering numbers, especially when they have decimals, we need to really think about place value. Place value is just saying where the numbers are in relation to that decimal. So this zero, this one, the zero, and this one are in the ones place. And the second zero here, the nine, the five, and the seven are in the tenths place. So when we are ordering them, we're going to compare the place values to each other. Now, it's kind of hard to do when they're side by side like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these up vertically, or rather up and down. And we're going to make sure that our decimals are lined up. If the decimal places are lined up, then that's going to ensure that the place values are lined up as well. So we've got 0.0. .0 1.9, 0 0.5, and 1.7. All of my ones place is lined up with each other vertically. The decimals are all lined up vertically, and, and the tenths place are all lined up vertically. We're going to start all the way to the left. We're going to start in our most left place value, which is our ones place. So we're trying to compare 0, 1, 0, and 1. Right away, we notice we have some repeats. If they were all repeats, we would move over to the next column. But we just have a few repeats. So we want to know that we want the smallest first, because we want to go from least to greatest. So let's ignore the ones for right now. And let's just look at the 0, 0.0 and 0, 0.5. Since those zeros are the same, we're going to move over to the second place value that we have, and we're going to compare those two numbers. So we're going to compare this 0 and this 5. 0 is smaller than 5, so this 0.0, .0 is the least number. Because the 1's place is smaller than all the rest, and then the 10's place is smaller. So this is going to be the one that's going to come first. I'm going to just put a one over there just to remind us because we still got three numbers to go. Now, this means that the second one is going to have to be 0 0.5 because no other number starts with a zero in the ones place. So this one will become in second place. Now we move on to our 1.9 and 1.7. Ones are both the same in the ones place. So we're going to look over at the tenths place at the 9 and the 7. The 7 is smaller than the 9, so that means 1.7 is smaller than 1.9. So that's going to come in third, and then 1.9 will come in fourth. So we're going to arrange them to be 0 0.0, 0 0.5, 1.7, and then 1.9. What are the numbers from least to greatest? I'm going to go ahead and set these up vertically. 0 0.0, 1.0, 1.4, and 0.2. Let's take a look at our ones column. We have to look at these two zeros since they're smaller than the ones. Then we're going to move over to our tenths place. We have to look at a zero and a two. 0 is smaller than 2, so this one will come first, and then this number will come in second. Now we take a look at 1.0 and 1.4. 0 in the tenths place is smaller than 4, so that means that 1.0 is smaller than 1.4. So this will come in third, and then 1.4 will come in the fourth spot. We're going to order these also from least to greatest. 
0 0.0, 0 0.6, 1.9, and 1.8. We're going to take a look at our ones column. We have two zeros, so we're going to hop on over to the tenths place. We have a zero and a six. Zero is smaller than six, so this will come first and this will come second. Now we look at our ones. We have 1.9 and 1.8. Since the ones are the same, we're going to look at our tenths place. Eight is smaller than nine, so 1.8 will come before 1.9. Order from least to greatest. 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 1.4, and 0 0.3. This time we have three numbers that have a zero in the ones column, so we have to compare all three of those first and then move on to the 1.4. So we're gonna look at zero, one, and three. Zero is the smallest out of all of those, so that's gonna come in the first position. One is smaller than the three, so the 0 0.1 will come in the second position, and 0 0.3 will come in the third. And 1.4 is the only one that is larger than 1, so it is, and it is going to come last because it is the greatest number. Order from least to greatest, 0 0.0, 0 0.8, 1.7 and 1.4. All right, we're starting to see a pattern. Let's look at those zeros first. Zero is in the tenths place is smaller than eight. So we're going to have 0, 0.0, then 0, 0.8. Then we look at 1.7 and 1.4. The ones are the same. Four is smaller than seven. So 1.4 will come next, then 1.7. Again, from least to greatest, or from smallest to largest, 0 0.0, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, and 1.6. These three zeros are the same. So we're going to look at our tenths column. We have a 0, a 4, and a 2. If we put those in order, it should go 0, smallest. Next is 2, then 4. So we have this first, second, and third, and our 1.6 will be last because it is the largest. What are these from least to greatest? 0 0.0, 1.4, 1.0, 1.8, and 1.3. We only have one number that has a zero in the ones column. All the rest are larger, so that means that that's definitely going to be coming first. Now we have three to compare in the ones place, so we'll move over to those three in the tenths place. A four, a zero, and a three. The smallest out of all of those is zero, so the smallest of all the ones is 1.0. Three is smaller than four, so 1.3 will come before 1.4. 0 0.0, 0 1.1, 0 0.1, and 0 0.9. 0.0 is going to be our first one because it is our smallest on the left side and on the right side of the decimal place. So that's gonna come first. Now we're gonna compare these two because they both have zeros in the ones place. One in the tenths place is smaller than nine, so that will come next. And then 0 0.9, 1 1.1 will then come last. It is the largest number. Order from least to greatest, 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 
0 0.3, 1.1, .1, and 0 0.7. 0, 0, and 0 in the ones column. So we move over. We have 0, 3, and 7. 0 is the smallest, so it will come first. 3 is the next, so it will come second. And 7 is bigger out of the biggest out of all of the zeros, so it will come third. And then 1.1 will be in fourth because it was the largest. Order from least to greatest, 0 0.0, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 1.8. We have three zeros in our ones column. We move over to the tenths place, 0, 3, and 2. 0 is the smallest, so that comes first. 2 is smaller than 3, so that comes second. Then this one will come in third. And 1.8 will be the fourth one because it is the greatest.